Hi everyone, this is Pranati, your host of Under the Microscope and the creator of the Science Talk. So, a few weeks ago, we did a review of 2022 and while preparing for that review of 2022, I came across some very interesting numbers, uh, including our tweets from Real Scientist Now Twitter account reaching almost 1 million impressions. And uh, the scientist in me was very amused. The creator in me was super happy about this. And the scientist in me was a bit curious. So I dug deeper. And in this video, I bring you the best or the most popular tweets of 2022. But before we get into that, a huge thank you to our sponsors, Park Systems, who may are also the main sponsor of a conference, um, Nano Scientific Forum Europe. And this year it's going to happen in Spain, in uh, Barcelona, I think close to Barcelona. Ooh. Alrighty, uh, let's start with December 2022. So in December, uh, and by the way, the link to all these uh, the link to all these tweets and the screenshots of these tweets are also available in the show notes. So please check those out as well in case you want to uh, add any of your thoughts to these top tweets of the month. All of that. The parameter that I have taken to Twitter, according to Twitter analytics, which tweet has the most number of impressions. So I think it basically means uh, the tweet that uh, appears on people's timeline uh, the most number of time and the uh, basic so on, you, you get the point okay so in december 2022 uh we had a tweet um this was a tweet from ashok kirthi who was one of our last curators of 2022 and this is actually a perfect example the way that this tweet has been phrased or written it's it's perfect it's to the point it's precise um, it tags the right uh, people so i think ashok has uh, tagged his collaborator he has also tagged his department or institute and has tagged uh, the journal i think in which it was uh, it was uh, published uh, this particular paper this particular discovery of science that they are talking about so the 2d nano channels which are the narrowest artificial channels created um, out of graphene and other 2d materials i do encourage you all to check out ashok's podcast as well um already let's move on to november 2022 so the november 2022 tweet is from Jose, Jose Okana Pujol, who is also our patron. So thank you, Jose, for being our patron. We really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, so this tweet is very simple. Uh, uh, it basically says, what is a metamaterial? Uh, my humble attempt to explain it in this thread and three downward uh, facing fingers. This is, this is quite an interesting one uh, to have the most amount of impressions in November 2022. Again, similar to the December one, this tweet is a great example of how to start a thread or how to make sure that your tweets get the most uh, engagement. So oftentimes people tend to uh, tend to put out tweets but not link to each other. So there is this function of uh, Twitter threads and that means that basically everything that you tweet it, when, when you put the tweets one after the other they appear in one thread um, instead of being scattered around on your timeline and this has been a feature since quite a while actually I think a few years at least however I feel like a lot of times people or scientists forget to do that, forget to use the, the thread format of Twitter. And I think this is a great format and it helps to tell a story if you have, uh, of course, more than one tweets or if you have 10 tweets or 20 tweets or whatever. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in uh, knowing more about different formats of Twitter or different formats of tweets that you can put out, do, do uh, attend the Navigating uh, Twitter as a Scientist training that we have on March 22nd. It will be at noon for one hour. So basically you can use your lunch time on the Wednesday, March 22nd for one hour to learn all the hacks and tips and tricks of how to get the most out of Twitter as a scientist. 
uh, that was the tweet of uh, of the month let's say of november 2022 in october our tweet that had the most impressions this is also one of my favorite formats i, I must admit it's a tweet from becca pitovsky uh, who is a researcher at the university of copenhagen in denmark and uh, with her we uh, understood the chemical reactions necessary or uh, the different kinds of chemical reactions that happen uh, in, in fuel cells or basically anything that is needed for green energy and this particular tweet um, uh, it's <laughs> It's it's also funny because it's, uh, the tweet basically reads, finally, the thread in Ellen brackets you didn't know you have been waiting for. So it's kind of a quirky way of tweeting. I love that. It's also my style. So it's uh, taking a dig at yourself. And like, yeah. uh, that and it also has a very nice GIF, uh, which is amazing. It also has PDF and PDF. This PDF is not the PDF that we all know this is pair distribution function. So it basically shows how the two atoms or surrounding nanoparticles or atoms rather are pairing with, with each other. So yeah, uh, check out the link in the description in the show notes uh, for October 2022 tweet from uh, Rebecca Petovsky. Uh, quite a cool one. Uh, All right, September, September 2022. What did we have? Okay, so this tweet is a tweet from one of our uh, teams, so from admins, I think I put this out. 91% of our listeners on Spotify are women. <laughs> uh, this one was fun one. I just wanted to have fun with it, actually. And I also wanted to showcase, because I feel like a lot of times, uh, podcasts or any sort of like YouTube channel or whatever, sci scientific ones specifically, uh, they are not that transparent about their audience or the about the details about their audience. Uh, I, that is something that interests me for sure, uh, as someone who has a podcast for what more than three years now. And so yeah, this was my attempt also at sharing the data, like sharing the behind the scenes, so to say, um, with our followers or with our listeners. And something that I wanted to change, I, or I would have loved to change is uh, not just have one kind of listeners. I like to have a mixed bag uh, of listeners, of course, because the podcast is not only for women, not only for men, not only for 25 year old women, or not only for 25 year old men. It's for everyone, basically from 18 years old to 60 or 100, if that's what you want. Uh, so yeah, this was my attempt at trying to shine light on like two things, basically to share the data and also encourage more men to listen to under the microscope, of course, on Spotify. And of course, this 91% is only from Spotify because Anchor only has data, I think, from Spotify and not from Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all the other Stitcher, Amazon Music. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting quite a bunch but yeah and surprisingly it had the effect that I, <laughs> I wanted to have so it did ruffle the feathers and we did have um, in the following weeks I think two or three weeks or something the um, the men uh, the men listener uh, uh, quantity percentage went up by like 63 percent or something i also tweeted that so if you're interested in that check out the link in the show notes and yeah because of course i put it as a thread <laughs> um so yeah that was september 2022 Alrighty, we are down four months we have eight more months to go so that brings me to august august 2022 this one is a tweet by Julian Barrier and he is basically introducing himself and also and the more precise you are the more impressions uh, the tweet will get uh, and also there are other factors as well which we will decode in Navigate uh, Twitter as a scientist training on March 22nd. So if you haven't subscribed or if you haven't registered already and tell your scientist friends about it, this uh, particular training is specifically for scientists. But if you are not a scientist and you still want to attend, please, you're welcome to join. But yeah, 
do make sure that your scientist friends and family are attending or at least aware of this training because even if you can't attend even if you can't attend the training the uh, the live training, uh, the recording will be shared with everyone who registered. So you can watch it as many times you, as you want, wherever you want. So yeah. So yeah, uh, the August tweet was from Julian and he told us about graphene. And if you have been a follower of the science talker under the microscope, you know, uh, graphene has a special place in my heart um, because that was the material I mainly worked with during my master's and my PhD. So every time uh, anything or anyone related to graphene uh, gains popularity or goes viral, I'm like, <laughs> I have also worked with that. Yeah. This tweet shows that it's it's the power of tagging your affiliation, um, be it your university, be it your department or whatever. That is a very good way of uh, reaching a wide audience. All right. That brings us to July. Um, and this one was fun. I remember this one. Uh, this one is from Jessica Henty Ridela, who is uh, a researcher at the State University of New York, uh, USA, so close to New York. I think it was like 20 minutes drive from New York to the left. Left is West. West. West, I think. It's this sunny university. It's a different <laughs> number of jokes for that. But yeah, this tweet was... Um, so this particular uh, podcast, I remember it was quite... Um, quite a lot of biology for me because as a material scientist myself, I have worked with a lot of physicists, chemists. I've also worked uh, quite a, a lot with with biologists, but I don't understand biology uh, in, in detail. So most of the, or let's put it this way, a lot of the words in this tweet, I don't understand, but I love the, <laughs> I love the GIFs. They are always fun. <laughs> But yeah, this was an interesting, uh, interesting podcast. I remember this. And this week was also quite a lot of fun. Yeah. Every day is a bones day. That was the title, I think, of uh, the podcast that Jessica was the guest on. And uh, yeah, it was a fascinating. Every curator teaches me so many new things. And I'm just always fascinated by the research that is going on. It's so cool. Oh, my God. Uh, so yeah, that was the tweet of the month of July 2022. That means we are halfway through the top 12 tweets of 2022. Uh, now is a very good time to tell you again, do check out the link in the show notes about the uh, NSFE conference, which is happening in September. And this conference is organized by, it's hosted by Professor Dr. F. Uh, Pelayo Gracia, uh, who is the head of research group CO2 mitigation accelerated by photons at the ICFO. Check out the show notes, register for the NSFE 2023 conference, which is happening in Barcelona in September 2023. I'm going to try to make it for sure. I hope I make it and I hope to see most of you there. All right, uh, let's continue our top 12 tweets of 2022. So in July, uh, sorry, in June 2022, the, the tweet that had the most impressions was a beautiful blue sky, green trees. And do I see the ocean, the Pacific Ocean on the, is it? Okay, this, first of all, this tweet uh, is from Alexandra, Alexandra Bromberg. I think this is the view from her lab um, uh, in Berkeley, if I remember correctly. And if it is Berkeley, is it the Pacific Ocean? One of the oceans, some water body, which is gorgeous. Uh, yeah, so this tweet had the most impressions. Who is surprised? Not me. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I can't wait for spring, summer, spring and summer. Oh, okay. Well, getting uh, distracted here. Alrighty, May 2022. The top tweet of May 2022 is uh, glowy things and science behind it. <laughs> no. So this is a tweet by, uh, by Leah Nienhaus, who is a professor, I think, at the Florida State University. And 
I think uh, if I remember correctly, she wanted to be a ballerina when she was a child. Then she got interested in chemistry and now she's a professor of chemistry at the university, the, the Florida State University, sorry. And this, this I, I remember this, I, I was so fascinated by it because she told me all about the kitchen spectroscopy and how, how our kitchens are full of glowy things. Yeah, things start glowing. It's really cool. I, I I really recommend you to go to the show notes and check out this tweet and the thread. It was so cool. In this particular picture, we have tonic, we have pumpkin seeds, eggshells, uh, canola oil, uh, riboflavin, I don't know what that is, chlorophyll. Um, all right, moving on very swiftly to April 2022. Oh, this was a delicious one. Eat uh, lasagna uh, ala, ala nano by Jared, uh, Jared Dillon, uh, Dillenberger, oh. who is a researcher at the University of Pennsylvania in the US. Yes. Uh, look at that gorgeous picture with, it, this is this is so cool. I love the title. I love it's it's so easy to then explain what Jared's uh, research is, uh, which is basically stacking the different uh, nanomaterials on top of each other with maybe stuff in between, just like lasagna. It it was lasagna at the nano scale. Really, really cool. I'm not at all surprised that this this tweet got the most attention because of course there is lasagna at the center of the picture. Um, all right, that brings us to March 2022. So the tweet that had the most impressions in March 2022 was about, or uh, it is from uh, Sakiru Ibiodun, Ibiodun, who was doing his PhD back in March 2022 when we recorded the podcast and also when he tweeted, or rather when he took over the account, the Twitter account, the Real Scientist Nano Twitter account. And since then, Sakiru uh, is not Sakiru anymore. He's Dr. Sakiru because he has successfully defended his PhD. Uh, so yeah, check out the blog post where we also congratulate Sakiru and he was kind enough to share some uh, PhD title getting celebrations with us. There was a cake, there was a party. It was, ah, it was so much uh, fun. This tweet is basically, oh yeah, I remember this one. Uh, it basically says, now let's play a game. If you were not in science or in academics, what are the profession do you see yourself doing and why? Let's see your answer in the comment. And then Sakiru went first. It got some really interesting, I remember this particular tweet got some really interesting uh, re responses. Uh, so do uh, go to the link in the show notes and do enter your responses. I'm really curious to know if if you are in science now, what would you do if uh, you were not in academics or if you were not doing uh, research actively? And if you are not a scientist, um, then tell us <laughs> what kind of a scientist would you would you like to be? Yeah. This was uh, this was also really cool. All right, two more to go. Ten down. Two more to go for um, top tweets of 2022 uh, February. Oh, I remember this one. Uh, in February, the top tweet is from Chris Nicholson, who was at the time at the Max, uh, Max Planck Institute in Berlin. Uh, he had his own group and uh, he basically started with the basics of like, okay, let's just take hydrogen atoms. Very simple. Hydrogen atoms, atom A, atom B, both are hydrogen atoms. And then from that, we went like slowly, it kind of escalated. He walked us through what is a band energy, what are, how do the electrons uh, uh, interact with each other and much, much more. So yeah, I do encourage you to follow the link in the, in the, in the show notes. It's, um, it's quite interesting. You will definitely learn at least one new thing today. All right, that brings us to the last tweet of 2022. Well, according to my list. <laughs> All right, in January 2022, the topmost tweet was when we welcomed uh, Johanna Joachim to the, the, to the team of Real Scientist Nano or the team of Under the Microscope, or you know what, let me just oversimplify it. The team of the science talk <laughs> um, um, made it all the way to the beginning of the year. Um, this was the top tweet where uh, we uh, we were like, oh, big welcome to, to, to Johanna. And uh, yeah, Johanna was the one, if you followed the 2022 review, Johanna was the one who started 
basically the Keeping Up with the Curators yes. co-series, uh, which you can you uh, can read and listen all about it in our 2022 review uh, episode or 2022 review video. Um, and also Johanna started our mailing list. She basically set up the mailing list, uh, which you all can join. You all are welcome to join the mailing list of the Science Talk. The link is uh, in the show notes. Join it. And if you join it, it depends on when you join it, you might get a special discount for the Twitter training, uh, which is happening on the 22nd of March, noon, one hour, and you get all the hacks of Twitter as a scientist. The, uh, the session is called Navigate Twitter as a Scientist. Do register for it. Do tell your friends to register. Uh, it's going to be a very useful and a very interesting uh, session. One hour, one solid hour of just information coming your way because I want you all to tweet more about your science, about yourself. And I want to, of course, consume that content because I'm nosy. Um, well, I'm curious. I want to know all kinds of fascinating science stories and what all you do. So do, do, uh, do register for the Twitter for Scientist training or rather navigate Twitter as a scientist training. Uh, Before we end uh, today's episode, a huge thank you to our sponsors park systems who make gorgeous machines including uh, atomic force microscopes and they keep making them better and better so do check out uh, the latest gorgeous machine the show notes the link is in the show notes so, yeah. thank, you. thank you to our sponsors park systems uh thank you to jose Jose Okana Pujol, who is our patron thank you very much jose we love you thank you thank you thank you and Thank you everyone for um, watching this video or listening to the podcast, depending on where you're listening and how you're consuming this content. Do consider leaving us a review, uh, a five-star review, and do add under the microscope to your favorites list or to your shows that you follow, wherever you get your podcast. Uh, the RSS link is also in the description. So a bunch of things for you to do. <laughs> If you're interested, join the Twitter training, check out the NSFE conference, join the mailing list. Those three, they're not going to cost you anything. Those three things are the simplest things you can do. So yeah, thank you very much for watching the video. See you next time. Bye.